On May 31st of 1996, Michael Granville set the national high school record in the 800 meters, running a time of 1 minute 46.45 seconds, a time that has now stood as the national prep record for more than 26 years. Almost instantaneously after this race started, Granville took a commanding lead that he never relinquished. And ever since this moment, now over two decades in the past, no American high school athlete has even been within one second of this time. Well, that is until this season in 2022, when we saw something truly amazing. At the Trials of Miles 800 meter race in New York City, Cade Flatt from Marshall County High School ran the fastest high school 800 in over 20 years. Running against a professional field, Flatt showcased world-class abilities, holding his own against a very talented and experienced field. Down the home stretch, Flatt was incredibly keeping up with these pro athletes, and with a finishing time of 1 minute 46.51 seconds, he fell but 6 one hundredths of a second away from Michael Granville's national record. This was one of the most gutsy performances that I have seen this season. After the first lap, Flat was all the way back in sixth place. However, his mature pacing strategy proved to be effective, as he took his time moving up and made a strong move with 100 meters to go. Even though he didn't quite catch the lead athletes down the home stretch, this time was a huge moment for prep running, and even against one of the most untouchable records in high school history, he only fell less than one-tenth of a second away. This performance was huge. After winning this year's Indoor Nationals in 148.86, Flat has been on a tear during this outdoor season. On April 2nd, he ran a 400 meter dash in 47.07 seconds, absolutely crushing his competition. After this victory, he lowered his 400 meter time again down to 46.89. But the real highlight of this 2022 season was his 146, which made him only the third high school athlete ever to break 1 minute and 47 seconds. With amazing personal records, an undefeated high school season, and a new type of running personality, never settling for anything less than victory, Flat has made a strong case that he just might be the greatest 400 and 800 meter combined athlete in high school history. But then, seemingly out of nowhere, this happened. Sumner, can you hold off the pros? The cavalry is coming. But Will Sumner looking really, really strong now. Come on, Will! Push through, Will! With a finishing time of 1 minute 46.53 seconds, Will Sumner from Woodstock, Georgia had just achieved yet another sub 1 minute and 47 second 800 meters. This is crazy. Against a professional field, he took the victory in this race in style. And he also looked very strong coming down the home stretch, which just might mean that he can run much faster than this 146. Only adding to the greatness of this season was what he did in this year's Georgia State Championships, where he broke the state record in the 400 meters with a time, are you ready for this, of 45.78 seconds. Absolutely remarkable. Now, you might remember Will Sumner from his incredible indoor season in 2022, where he broke the national high school record in the 600 meters by two entire seconds. This race, statistically, was one of the most dominant records ever set in high school running. But in addition to this incredible 600 meter time, was yet another national record in the 500 meters, where he ran a time of 1 minute 1.25 seconds. During this year's indoor season, Sumner was ranked number one in the nation in the 500 meters, the 600 meters, and in the 800 meters, making this indoor campaign one of the greatest ever. But this outdoor season has been equally as impressive, as he has been nearly untouchable for the previous few months. Now, when we compare the 400 and 800 meter abilities of Michael Granville, Cade Flatt, and Will Sumner during their high school days, the combined efforts actually go to Will Sumner, as his 400 meter personal record puts him just ahead of Michael Granville. But the thing is, this is just one simple statistic. What I'm really interested in is seeing Cade Flatt and Will Sumner square off in one final 800 meter race. And with this kind of talent in one 800 meters, we very well could see yet another high school record go down. And who knows, maybe we could even see one or perhaps both athletes dip under one minute and 46 seconds. And now I want to hear from all of you. How fast do you think these two could run if they raced against each other one more time? 
And who do you think would ultimately come out on top? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.